Doubling up the left. Of course, I'm talking about the double jab, right? All right. Pop, pop. We should all be double jabbing more. You should just be double jabbing all the time. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. Whether you intend for it to land. But what about other techniques? What about elbows? What about hooks? These are hard to land. The key is that you have to uh, relax. Let's start with the double jab. You know, everyone, they, they stand in front of the guy and they're like, and coach is like, jab, jab, double jab, pop, pop, one, one. Jab, jab. You know, he's just yelling this stuff and the guy's like, we're gonna, we're gonna get over there. It's like a jab, jab. All right, that's not what he's talking about doing. He's talking about being loose and using that jab just to find your range. Not every jab is meant to land. We go, boom, boom, once this lands, then we can throw our hard shot. Not every jab has to land. Relax. But what about the hook? How can we possibly jab and then throw a hook. All right, relax. It's gotta have some swagger to it. The jab, hook, or the one, three escaped me for a long time. I didn't get it for a long time. I would go, and this is all arm punches. And now before, it was like, you, you never punch with your arms. Like, dude, people have been knocked out by arm punches. Like, relax, if the punch gets there, like, we gotta go jab, Recoil just a little bit, and then just let this guy go. Boop. It's tough. This is a tough thing to do at first, particularly if you're super attached to every strike, and you think every strike has to be really hard. Uh, if you've got, if you're doing one of these, or if you're doing shadow boxing, start or the heavy bag or whatever. No matter what you're using, start with like messing with the timing. So we go, you know, jab, hook. Jab, hook. And speed it up a little. Jab, hook, hook. Jab, hook, hook. Then uh, if you're using one of these and if you don't have one of these, you should get one. Uh, I made a video on how to make one yourself or you can do this shadow boxing, right? But you just gotta relax, have some swagger to it. Ooh, that one got away from me. That's tough. It's tough, especially to make anything happen and not feel like you're always arm punching. But the elbow escapes people. We've touched on this before. Most people, when they want to do that spearing elbow, that's what we'll talk about first is like this elbow here, right? Most people, they try so hard and they lean like they do with every strike when they're first learning it, right? You gotta relax and bring yourself to the bad guy. Bring yourself to the target, boom, boom. Especially if you predict him coming forward. If you're using this, that kind of replicates that. Maybe he slipped this jab. And maybe he's coming forward. But just relax. Just let it happen. Especially if you are using an elbow, it doesn't take much. Not every elbow has to be this like... Every time. Relax. You know? That's it. Even the downward one, you know? Relax. And this goes for any time you want to double this hand up in a different direction. Whether if it's like jab hammer fist, if you're into that sort of thing, maybe you're knife fighting or, you know, trapping a hand or something like that. A lot of this is used for entry. So we jab elbow to entry, jab clear for entry. This doesn't have to be a goofy, you know, hammer fist, but it could be you clearing your way in for your next strike. But even the uppercut, if you want to change directions, relax. You have more time than you think. You throw this jab, when you do this, they might react to it. So now you're able to throw that second strike in a different direction without having to feel like you have to rush it, like <clears throat> it's stupid, that's not right. Relax, jab, uppercut, jab, uppercut, jab, hook. All right, jab, elbow, jab, other elbow. Relax. A lot of this doubling up the left stuff is about guard manipulation. We're trying to manipulate his guard, either to find out where it is or to split it, go crashing through it, maybe to move it out of the way. Boosh! Wow! This doesn't have to be that strike. This could be you hooking his wrist or hooking his hand and pulling out of the way for your next thing. So when you're shadow boxing, you should be visualizing that. Visualize how what you're doing is impacting him. You know, maybe you're making him pick his hands up and you're doubling up. Your stuff. Maybe when you change levels for this uppercut, his hands drop low because you've threatened takedowns. And now you're coming back up with the uppercut. Shh, shh. 
right? Maybe he's doing like this, and you're imagining that you're grabbing really hard on his hand so you can throw your next thing. But you should be visualizing that. That's the purpose of this. Maybe we're crashing straight through the guard. Or maybe every time we jab, he gets super aggressive. Visualize it, but just relax in between the strikes. And this elbow, you have to have some swag to it. You have to relax. You have to have some, some of that, whatever that is. It's a little... Same thing with the hook. A little bit of, a little swagger. But that's my advice to you. Just relax in between the strikes, particularly when you want to double them up from the same side in unconventional ways. But you should be more relaxed generally all the time. And not like, but if you want more fitness tips, self-defense techniques, gear reviews, as well as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt, make sure you subscribe. Turn on notifications.